Welcome back to this series. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. This is my Sage 50 Cloud accounting series. As mentioned in the first video, please watch this series from my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. That's free, F R E E, bookkeeping with two Ks, accounting.com. Or just Google me, the Bookkeeping Master, and you'll see a link to my website. The reason why I suggest that is YouTube doesn't always recommend the next video in order. This series is created uh, in sequence, there is an order to things, and if you go to my website, the videos for this course are listed in order. So I recommend you take them in order rather than what YouTube recommends. In this video, we're going to go through the nominal list. In the left-hand sidebar, you should have a number of links things like customers, suppliers, bank or bank accounts. There'll be one that says nominal list or nominal codes. If you click on that, then you'll have a screen like this appear. If this screen doesn't appear, you may have a different screen appear. You just simply have to select nominal list. It could be that your dashboard and process maps are on, switched on. So I'll just turn mine on. And it could be when you click on nominal codes, you get something um, like this appear that's blank, or you may have a number of graphs and charts appear. If that's the case, just click list here and you'll be taken to that list. Let me just turn those dashboards back off. So I'm just going to tools and options, view, and then ticking the, the boxes here for maps and dashboards. So this is the nominal list. This is every nominal account on Sage 50 Cloud. Now, if you're new to accounting, then a nominal account is an account that each transaction is posted to. So if you have a sale that you record on Sage 50 Cloud, that's going to be accounted for in the sale nominal code. So we have one here, sales type A. There are hundreds Sometimes there are thousands of these nominal codes. We have the nominal code on the left here. We have the name of the nominal code or account marked if the account is inactive. Um, if the software is new, then none of these accounts will be inactive. Then you have the debit and credit. So each transaction that's posted to Sage 50 Cloud will have a debit and a credit. For example, if a sale is paid into the bank, you would have debit bank and credit sales or credit the sales ledger. If this is all foreign language to you, don't worry. I'm just talking bookkeeping and accounting gobbledygook. If you're just interested in using the software and you don't have an accounting background, you know, just ignore what I've said. There are bookkeeping courses for free on my website. You can go and Take them, that will help you better understand what I'm talking about. So we have a number of nominal accounts here, and they range and cover everything from sales to expenses to assets to liability to equity and things like that. If you want to understand the nominal codes better, you'll see that some start with zero, some start with a one, some start with a two, a three, a four, etc. If you want to understand this default layout better, what you need to do is you need to go to the top of the screen here. There are a number of options appearing. You need to click on chart of accounts. If you have an older version of Sage, you might say COA, which is just the acronym for chart of accounts. So if you click on that and then double click on default layout of accounts, then it will break down the nominal codes for you. So if I click on sales, you'll see that product sales are 4000 to 4099, export sales are 4100 to 4199, etc. If I click on overheads, you'll have all the codes here for overheads. Um, so there are allocated codes for wages, for motor expenses, printing and stationery, professional fees, maintenance, bank charges, etc. So this is the profit and loss on the balance sheet. These are our asset, liability, and equity accounts. 
same sort of thing if you click on say current assets we have stock nominal accounts debtors and so forth so you can have a look at that if you're new to sage it's worth getting used to the nominal accounts because you're going to be using these codes every time you post a transaction it might seem very overwhelming at first uh, when you start posting transactions on sage trying to find the right nominal code but things will get easier you know it's just the same as anything the more time you spend doing it the more experience you gain then the easier it becomes but to help you there is a couple of features up here that are very good one is print list so if you click on print list then it will print all the nominal codes for you um, so you have a hard copy I suggest if you're new to sage you print that hard copy off you keep it on your desk and then you've got a hard copy to refer to if you're struggling to find an account if print list isn't appearing you can simply go to reports here go to nominal details and there's a nominal list option here and you can print that or preview that and that will bring up all the nominal codes for you if I just click off this account by clicking clear and run that list again you'll see that all the codes appear so with these reports any accounts that are highlighted it will run a report for that account only so you have to make sure you clear the nominal list by clicking clear and then run the report to ensure that all the accounts are showing so once again you can print that off and use that for your reference now another option if you're struggling to find an account or want to learn these nominal accounts is to actually show them in alphabetical order rather than in numerical order so you can see at the moment they're in numerical order we have zeros at the top they go to ones then twos and threes right down to nine 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 simply click on the name title here and it will put them in alphabetical order um, so if you were looking for accountancy fees for example then that will appear at the top under A that's a lot easier to find than trying to find code 7602 um, or if you were trying to look for the clothing costs or capital if it's in alphabetical order that just might help you a bit better now something else you can do is instead of scrolling through these codes you can just simply click the key um, on the keyboard and that will take you to where you want to be so if I'm looking for an account say insurance if I just click I it will take me to the eyes and we have insurance here if I'm looking for sales I'll click S it takes me down to the sales or those accounts that begin with S and the same with the codes if we are filtering with code so in numerical order if I click 5 it will take me to the 5000s 9 it will take me to the 9000s so there's, there's just some quick keys there that you can use to get through this list a bit quicker because it is a very substantial list and can be time consuming now if you have an account and you want to change the name of the account if I scroll down to the sales accounts here where you have sales type A type B and type C by default let's say we actually want to change this geographically rather than types if I just double click on sales type A on the name I can just delete that information and I can put sales north click save close and that nominal code will now be sales north 4000 sales north rather than sales type a if you don't want to double click you can just highlight the code and click edit at the top here the same box will appear let's do sales south click save and close and that will change the name for you now it could be that there are accounts you need to post transactions to but you can't find a nominal code for 
the transaction you want to post. Let's say for whatever reason there isn't a Lover Sales account and you want to add one. All you need to do is click New at the top left here and you can add a new account. So let's say we want to add Sales East. Let's look at the nominal codes. We have 4000, 4001, 4002. It then jumps to 4009. So if we do 4003 in the name, we will put Sales East. Click Save. You'll see that that nominal code 4003 Sales East has been added to the software. So it's very straightforward, just click New, fill in the details and click Save. If the nominal code is already being used, then it will tell you so. Um, you can't have duplicate nominal codes. Something else to mention while we're on this module, the nominal module, is the Activity tab. So once you have transactions booked to these accounts, you can double click on an account Go to activity and you'll be able to see all the transactions that are posted to that code. So if we wanted to see all the transactions booked to Sales North, we just double click, go to activity and it will list all the transactions on this tab. Now there are a number of other features on this module. You can see them all at the top here. We have prepayments and accruals. We have journals. We have a profit and loss, a balance sheet. There's lots going on at the top here, but we'll return to this later once we actually have some data, some information on the software. There's no point us running reports, a profit and loss, etc., a trial balance, when there's actually nothing on the software yet. So we will return to this module later, the nominal module, once we have some information on the software. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comments section below. If you need support by email, I do offer email support. Just go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, click on services, and you can sign up for the email support. In the next video in this series, we'll have a look at the customer module, things like customer invoices, credit control, adding customers to the software, that sort of thing.